SBFalcons.com here with Men's Basketball Center Joe Rasmussen. Uh, Joe, team out the GNAC tournament last week. He beat Central Washington on a last second shot yeah. uh, by Will Parker in the quarterfinals. What uh, Talk a little bit about that game. Uh, I mean, it was, it was a tough game. Uh, Central, you know, they beat us once at home. We, had, we beat them at home. Uh, you know, they're a very hard playing team. They apply a lot of pressure, and that's tough for us to handle sometimes. But uh, we came out on top, and you know, Will had a great shot at the end. He sure did. Then uh, the next night you come back and play the regular season champion, sixth-ranked Western Oregon. Real hard battle, and they win it by one point. Uh, you got a shot at the end. What do you remember about that game? Uh, I mean, we've struggled with them all year. Uh, we've had two overtime games against them, I believe, and, uh, you know, it always it's always a close game with them. Uh, I mean, they're a really, really good team. They're very well coached, and uh, they've got the better of us a couple of times. But uh, they, they played well. I thought we played. I thought we played well at certain points, but uh, we definitely could have played better. A couple shots go here or there, we win that. Good news is the season continues. Uh, on Sunday, your team was invited to the 64-team tournament with the fourth seed in the West Region. Uh, your thoughts on getting the NCAA invite? Uh, I mean, it's always that's always the goal at the end of the year is to get to the NCAA tournament and uh, see how we do from there. Um, it's big. I mean, we have the longest streak in the nation right now for NCAA tournament bids. Uh, uh, we want to, you know, right now we're just focused on getting past the Zoo Pacific. You mentioned that 12-year streak, which is the nation's longest. Has that uh, put a lot of pressure on your team, or how do you guys view that? Uh, I wouldn't say so much pressure, but it's something that we, we definitely do pride ourselves on, is having that consistency and being consistently good enough to get to the national tournament the last 12 years. Great. You also mentioned your first-round opponent, Zeus of Pacific. That's a team we played earlier this year in December here in Seattle, and defeated them 71-54. to 54. Uh, what do you remember about that game? Uh, I mean, we jumped on them right from the beginning. I think we led the whole game. And, uh, I mean, they, they were missing uh, a couple key guys, I think. And they'll definitely be coming for us here uh, coming up. But uh, I think we played really well. That was one of our best team wins that we've had this year. Leading score in that game for SPU and for the game was uh, your starting center, Gilles Dierichs. Uh, what has he meant to the team this year? I mean, he's he's a big guy. He's a seven-footer. Uh, he's he moves well. He finishes well down there. Uh, yeah, he finished uh, second team in the in the uh, GNAC this year. He's been a very uh, important part of the team so far. You have a good real good one-two combination with you two. He's he's Mr. Inside, I guess, and you can play inside as well. But you also can step out and are really good from three-point range. Does that make you guys a difficult uh, matchup? Uh, I definitely think so. I mean, people are, people tend to focus in on him a lot, and so when I come in the game, I can kind of step out and spread the floor out and get us a new, uh, get our offense moving a little bit. And so that's always, I think that's a good one-two punch. Your father, Blair Rasmussen, uh, started Oregon and then uh, played in the NBA. What kind of game did he have? Did he uh, was he a good uh, outside shooter? Was he an inside guy? I don't know if he's done so a three point shooter, but he could shoot the ball. He definitely he can still shoot the ball a little bit. Yeah, he'll, uh, he's not too hesitant to tell me about that. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Well, uh, you've been the NCAA tournament before. Um, wh what's the key to success uh, playing in the playoffs? Uh, I mean, at this point, every every team that we play is good. Uh, so there's not really uh, we there's no playing down to any opponent. Uh, we just have to come out play as a team play hard, uh, realize that you know our season can end at any point here, and uh, I think that if we take a lot of pride and we play hard, we can succeed. Last year, the Falcons entered as the number seven seed, uh, drew BYU-Hawaii the number two seed, and uh, beat them 81-68. Really impressive win. Does that kind of say that the, the seedings aren't that meaningful at all? It, uh, I mean, earlier they, we played BYU-Hawaii, they beat us pretty good, uh, but Seeding, at this point, like I said, every team is good. Anybody can beat anybody, and especially when you have a team like we're playing right now, Zuzu Pacific, we're both four and the five. I think they won their league, uh, and we finished fourth in our league. So any team could beat any team at this point. Last year you were eliminated by Cal Baptist, who's in this year's tournament. Uh, really heartbreaking one-point loss. What do you recall of that game? Uh, they had some really good players last year. Uh, and they, I have... I know that they have a couple good guys that came back. Um, last year we lost on a uh, block out, somebody else block out, and they had an offensive rebound put back for the win. Uh, and that's that's been brought up a couple of times this year. Uh, we have to finish out plays, we have to block everybody out. Um, so that's been a big emphasis, as it is every year for us. But um, no, that was, that was a tough game last year, no doubt about it. 
Your team will travel down to Monmouth, Oregon. You'll play Azus on Friday at 5 o'clock. The game is at Western Oregon, a gym you're familiar with. You play every year there. Does that give you any edge at all, familiarity with the arena? I mean, a little bit, yeah. It's, uh, like you said, i played there probably three times now. Yeah, probably a time every year. Uh, I mean, it's helpful. Familiarity with anything is going to help, I think. Great. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the NCAA invitation, and good luck in this year's tournament. Great. Thank you very much.